Hi, I'm Mark Hudson, and I want to welcome you to our 30-day practice jumpstart program from Cairo Europe. I've got a lot of questions about what the program consists of, so I'm actually going to insert this before the 30-day the program. And basically, this program is designed to help people who are looking to either make a shift or to solidify the shift that they've already made from a mechanistic, reductionistic model of chiropractic practice into a vitalistic model. Um, we are extremely well trained in our chiropractic education and through our politicians that uh, chiropractic, you know, our better trained musculoskeletal pain syndrome diagnosers and now the new directions that are being moved, uh, that the depression is moving in as acceptable to dine at the big table with the pseudoscientists and the medics is that chiropractors are either functional neurologists or wellness experts. And functional neurology means that we can describe uh, neurological pathways better than they can, therefore you must accept us. And the wellness people are the eat well, think well, uh, move well people who are, have, been, have found that obviously the musculoskeletal pain treatment um, box that we were being put into is not enough for them and they're looking for something bigger and that it is culturally acceptable for chiropractors to move into the realms of either nutrition or exercise or psychology. And the direction that we're moving in at Car Europe is completely different from all of those. We're looking to help chiropractors become hugely successful in a completely different practice model. And that's the non-therapeutic, non-diagnostic, primary contact care that, were, that is the origin of our profession and yet has been discarded along the way because of the criticism that it's cultish, that it's unscientific, and that there's not the evidence-based uh, material there to back it up. Now, anybody who's been in practice for any period of time and has seen uh, anecdotally unexplainable huge results happen for people is usually not willing to self-limit back down to the musculoskeletal condition phase but our new graduates are being trained in such a reduced impoverished vision of what chiropractic is that most of them when they get out of school are absolutely terrified to adjust people and particularly true here in Europe they are, they are not used to dealing with sick people, one. They're so full of what, quote unquote, red flags are dangerous to um, touch people who have these red flag conditions. And so the scope of acceptance of people into our practices is becoming more and more reduced all the time. And it's a completely divorced position from the origins of the profession which was Harvey Lillard getting adjusted by D.D. Palmer and as a result of the vertebrae being repositioned due to D.D. Palmer's analysis of it this guy's hearing came back. Now that may sound crazy, that may sound 19th century, that may sound anecdotal but again if you're not experienced in practice speak to anybody who's been in practice for a while and they will tell you case after case after case of people who came into their offices who have had unbelievable physiological changes happen as a result of getting their spines adjusted. Um, and I'm not going to regale you with those stories right now or bore you with those stories. Um, but, uh, yeah, come to the seminars, find out what that's about. Talk to any experienced chiropractor and they will tell you about those cases. So, as our training has moved so far away from what chiropractic's origins are, and chiropractors are being more and more reduced, chiropractors are also becoming less satisfied with their practices. And when I ask chiropractors at the seminars that we, that we run, um, how many of you in here want to see more people? Almost invariably the whole audience puts their hands up. Or see more new patients. Or practice, have more fun in practice, get greater results in practice, um, or have practice just be easier there is a consensus in the audience that they want all of those things. If that's what you're looking for, then yes, this series is for you. Now, having said that, all of that, the, chiropract the, the public has never been more 
eager for the services that we provide, for vitalistic chiropractic services, and yet the profession, the numbers in the profession providing that service are becoming smaller and smaller. If you want to make that shift, this program, this 30-day program, is going to help you make that shift. It's going to give you things to think about. It's going to give you actual practical strategies that you can implement in your practice. It's going to give you management stuff. It's going to give you all that sort of detail stuff. But by far the most important aspect of making a shift from reductionism or mechanism to vitalism is that your head and heart become congruent and that you be working towards your dream practice vision. Your dream practice vision. Not the limited vision of practice that you have because of what you think is culturally acceptable either to the public or to the chiropractic politicians, but what your dream is. In other words, the practice that makes you go, Woo, this is so great. I love it. I just can't wait to get up in the morning and start helping these people. That's what I'm talking about. And if you manage to hit that sweet spot, and I know many, many, many people who have, if you manage to hit that sweet, sweet spot, the public will flock to you. They will love you. They will pay you abundantly. You will have fun in practice, and you will be able to ongoingly and reproducibly produce miracles on a daily basis. And it is just waiting for an empowered you to show up. So what does all that mean? Uh, when I first got exposed to this in, uh, in practice, I was absolutely exhausted and sick. And I'd only been in practice for three years at this point. But I was sick and tired of practicing the way I, I, I was practicing. It was not fulfilling me energetically or spiritually. And I was fortunate to be exposed to a style of practice that was radically different from what I'd been trained to in school. I went to Parker College of Chiropractic. Supposedly, I was given a philosophical education. And when I actually got around vitalistic chiropractors, I was blown away, first of all, by the way they were being, by the freedom that they were expressing themselves with, both in their professional and their personal lives, that there was actually no difference between the two. And the unbelievable success that I was seeing these people have. So when you, when I, you know, at the time, I'd been in practice for, for three years. I had what is by today's standards considered a successful practice. I was seeing almost 90 people a week. I was paying my bills. I could go on vacation, et cetera, et cetera. And I was in the company of people who were seeing five and ten times that number of people. And so one would automatically assume that they were doing that in some kind of, that they were either working 95 hours a week or they were giving some sort of substandard unethical care. And when I saw their practices, when I actually followed them around, when I shadowed them, what I saw was chiropractors who were getting much, much, much bigger and better results than I was. They were having more fun and they were ending the week with energy or the day with energy instead of being absolutely exhausted at the end of the day, you know, just drained. And if you've been in a musculoskeletal practice and you're taking on all of that stuff from the people that, that are in your practice, you know what I'm talking about. You see your 10, 20, 30 people a day and you're trying to fix their stuff and at the end of the day, you're just like this. Oh God, I can't. You're so tired you can't even pick your arms up. And I'm talking about this is 20 years ago, and I was in a hell of a lot better shape then than I am now. So now I see many more people. It's a hell of a lot easier. I'm making tons more money. It's more fun. It's completely internally referred, and the public, public is flocking to it. Believe me, if I can do it, you can do it, because I don't have anything special. That, that's the way I learned. When I saw those people doing it, and I realized that they didn't have anything special... All I had to do was copy what it was that they were doing. It becomes a model that's really, really easy to succeed in. So, what's the most important thing? Everybody wants the magic step. They want the, you know, the healthcare class, the scripts, the, the magic technique is going to solve everything. No. What's going to make the shift is what you think and what you feel. It's what goes on here and here. 
And if what goes on here and here is in alignment with a practice model that works for you, then you can have huge, massive, unbelievable success. Now, if what you are thinking and doing is different, is incongruent with your actual practice style, in other words, if you are playing the doctor role in your practice that is not where you want to be energetically, then you will not thrive. At some level, things will break down for you. And so the whole point of this series is to help you get congruent, get congruence between your practice style, what you want in your heart, and what you think is correct, a freedom to express that to the public in a way that they can relate to, and then a, a removing of barriers so that large numbers of the public can come take advantage of this wonderful service that we're providing. And like I said, we've, I've, dealt with, I've helped chiropractors all over the world now do this, and it works anywhere. It works anywhere. I'm talking about Panama. I'm talking about Spain. I'm talking about the United States. I'm talking about Vietnam. I'm talking about Australia. No matter where you go, the public is desperate for this and wants it. They're just waiting for someone to show up and tell them the story and then remove barriers to their coming in. So... It's there waiting for you. For the next 30 days, we're going to go into a lot more specific detail, but these are just some of the concepts behind why we're doing what we're doing and how you can get the most out of it. And basically, what I would suggest to you for you know now, take a, take a day, take a week, take a month, but start working on your dream. Figure out what your dream practice is. And if you invest the time in that and then break it down into steps that are actionable, specific, and measurable, if you do that, align yourself with people who think the same way you do and will hold you accountable, you can produce massive changes in your life and in your practice. So I hope this is the first step for you. I hope that this uh, proves to be the start of a very, very successful journey and hopefully a, a relationship between us. Um, Cairo Europe is happening in October 23rd through 25th, Malaga, Spain. I hope to see you there, but regardless, uh, I wish you every success in the world and fun and, and profitability and honesty and ethics and just helping you be in love with yourself and with people in your practice and being in love with the removal of the subluxation, the reduction of the subluxation, and allowing them to more fully express life. That's what it's about. That's what you can do. That's what people in Europe, as in everywhere in the world, want. We hope you join us on the path. See you in Malaga.